So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we took Simple Room and we then performed an epic transformation. My new multimedia studio. A lot of people have been asking me about it. How do we do it? We're gonna explain that in this video pretty much. There's a lot of production and marketing and business that goes on in this room, a lot of software development, a lot of video editing. It's a pretty active room. So as I was saying, a lot of people have been asking about it. And so I'm gonna walk you through an entire tutorial from start to finish, how we painted it, how we set up the lights, how we set up the equipment, the different equipment we got. And you're gonna learn how to build intellectual property, digital products, eBooks, software. And then you're gonna learn how to sell that intellectual property. Thousands and thousands of units being sold on the internet. So this is my house. I've been here for 12 years and this room is kind of like in the back of the house, almost a 5,000 square foot house. So this is a total studio renovation pretty much, right? The old studio was looking pretty dated. So the first step was to paint the walls. So we picked up the primary colors from Home Depot. We're talking red, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. It's just regular latex interior paint. Next up, we got a bunch of sour cream containers. You need the sour cream containers. They work the best. Uh, so first things first, the outline. My wife likes to burn things in the backyard. So we had a ton of charcoal. We began drawing out some of the ideas. I didn't know this is what gonna happen, but basically my stage name is Nebula. So over here on this wall, it was like, all right, I'm just, I wasn't even planning on that. For this particular room, I was thinking about, you know what, let's make it like just the types of bricks you see on a castle or something like old school and have some little plants and stuff. It'll look like a real wall, right? But it ended up bricks like the regular types of bricks that you see on my brownstone in New York City, right? And we're thinking like maybe there'll be purple bricks, right? So we mixed a lot of red and blue together pretty much do that. Now I was thinking also like I'm going to put in windows. So I put in some windows, but then I was like, you know what? It's kind of boring. I was, I'm going to blow it out. Like 900 mile per hour winds on Jupiter, like picked up my office in my studio and just threw it in the middle of a, a freaking jungle, right? We got the jungle or here you turn to the right and it's like the earth curvature. And then you got like Manhattan here. It's like this cartoonish version of Manhattan where everything got started. I started my whole business in Manhattan. So it was like, ended up pretty funny. There's no other boroughs. It's just Manhattan. So after a couple days of every night before bed, you know, we're making sure the brushes are in water and, and we put the lids on all the sour cream containers. You know what I mean? It started to come to life, right? And I wasn't planning on doing graffiti. I haven't done graffiti in like 20 years and never done it with a brush either. So it was like first time experience, but we were like set up for like brushes and stuff. And I was like, ah, I'll just do that real quick. And so on the opposite wall, I got a little bit exhausted. So I just painted it black. And then I added this dollar bill that me and my mother painted a few years back. But then I pulled the desk out into the middle because it used to be just touching the wall. So I pulled it out into the middle, it serves its purpose. I could put a light back there, I could walk. So we have all these different angles. We put soundproofing on the walls up there and then we ordered LED lights, the types of LED lights that you can bend. All right, it's very important. They're, they're flexible. I went on YouTube, watched some people talking about how they broke the LED light bulb and certain models and stuff. So I was like, no, nah, I don't wanna have that. So I got the ones that, and they come with a remote, a remote like this, and then you can change colors and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's pretty cool, right? Change the colors, right? So went out to Home Depot, got the types of staples when you're a kid and you wanna put a wire on the wall or what, you know, I knew, I was like, what are those things called? They told me electrical aisle. So I went there, got the uh, staples to plug in the LED stuff. Then I got the new machine. I got a new 16 quad core Mac Pro with 96 gigs of RAM and a 32 gig graphic card. And then I got the widescreen, you know what I mean? Got the widescreen. Hadn't gone on a shopping spree in like 10 years, you know, but I was doing a lot of production and stuff, but had to upgrade the plugins. I got the Viatech ultra wide and then had to do third party graphics programs so it can convert the resolution. In other words, when I first turned it on, it was all stretched out and weird looking and stuff like that. So I had to get the new audio interface, got the Mo2828, a new one. Then I got the new mic, got portable vocal booth, total renovation, got new speaker stands because the old ones were clunky. What we're recording on right now is actually iPhone Pro Max with an adapter, a lavalier adapter. I got a Canon C70, it's down in the green screen room. For that C70, I also got the Ronin S gimbal. Got a new DJI mini drone for the aerial shots. Got the key light, I like these as key lights. If I do any indoor stuff, you know, music videos and stuff like that, it'll be C70 on the gimbal. Also, there's this other thing where uh, I got the app Dictate. I recommend you get that because you can basically blab and you can talk and it will type what you talk. And then you get it on the iPhone Pro Max 
you can see what it's saying and stuff. So anyway, yeah, we got these tripods also for desk stuff, for YouTube stuff, have iPhone Pro Max and this. Then I got other iPhone stands that, that go up to about here. So that could come in handy. But for the C70, I'd use my, I'll show you in a little bit, the, the tripod we use. So anyway, there are a lot of wires and gadgets too. It's important to have like a rolling utility stand like that. And as you can see, I got my gimbal there. I got like, pfft, all sorts of stuff on there, right? Keep the desk clear, have it on a utility stand. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna take a look at what's underneath this studio. It makes a lot of sense. So let's take a trip downstairs now. All right, got the filmographer. So it only makes sense after we're done with all the production stuff in the room above this that here's where we are able to screen stuff you know, watch the productions on the silver screen. It's basically the screening room, movie theater, etc., And that serves its purpose. Also serves purpose for like masterminds when students are here and stuff. All right, so let's go below this now. So now we're underneath where we were a couple seconds ago. We're in the green screen room. And the difference is, is this room is entirely green. As you can see down here, the floor is green. The ceiling is green. You can uh, miniaturize yourself. You could film from an angle up there and you get the entire body and then you can superimpose it. You could make you really small and you're walking on the counter in the kitchen and you jump into a pot of boiling water or something. You know what I mean? I do car crashes and stuff like that here. We've done stuff like Godzilla and monsters and little miniature stuff, all sorts of stuff like that here. It's just great having the floor and the, the wall green. And then as you can see here, I was playing brass instruments and I was superimposed myself in a music video, like cloned myself a bunch of times for a brass band. So I had filmed with the C70 down here with proper lighting, added like three lights. This is the real deal, all right? Canon C70 and uh, this is for the important stuff. Put it on the gimbal and you with the music videos. So yeah, guys, that was the tour and the explanation of how we were able to put this thing together. I recommend be creative, do some painting, express yourself. It works well. It'd be great to have some more artists out there. All right, but yeah, thanks for checking out the studio. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Send us a comment, like, let us know if you have any questions and sign up at Online Goldmine for more production and online business advice and information and all that good stuff. I'm gonna get to producing. All right, so this is Jamie Lewis. Thanks for watching.